Hi folks, Doug Jones here from Danley Sound Labs. Today I'm going to introduce you to our DNA series of amplifiers and processors. Currently there are four products in this line. The DNA 5K4C, the DNA 10K4, the DNA 20K4, and our standalone processor, the DNA SC48. So let's start with the DNA 5K4C. This is a four channel amplifier rated at 1250 watts into 2 ohms per channel. You can see the rest of the specs online. The DNA 5K4C is a bit different from the other DNA amplifiers in that it is actually two two-channel amplifiers sharing the same chassis. You can see that on the front panel there's actually two power switches and of course indicators for each channel of each amp. The left amplifier is labeled channels 1 and 2 and the right amplifier is labeled channels 3 and 4. Let's turn the amp around and take a look at the back. Starting at the left end there is one power cord that feeds power to the two separate amplifiers. Then we have outputs 3 and 4 and inputs C and D. Now the inputs feature both female XLR jacks as well as male XLR jacks which can be used for linking to other amplifiers. Let's examine the output jacks more closely. Output jack number 3 is wired so that pins 1 of the NL4 carry the signal from channel 3 and pins 2 carry the signal from channel 4. You can configure the amp so there's a crossover that feeds amps 1 and 2 or 3 and 4. So if you're powering a two-way system with a top and a sub, for example, you could use two NL2s and two conductor cables connecting the sub to channel 3 and the top to channel 4. If you're using a speaker like our SH96HO in bi-amp mode, you could use a single NL4 connector with a four conductor cable and simply connect it to output number 3. Outputs 1 and 2 are wired exactly the same way. When you bridge amps 1 and 2 or 3 and 4 together, the output of the bridged amplifier appears on output 1 or 3 and the speaker is connected across pin plus 1 and pin plus 2 of the NL4, where pin plus 1 is the speaker plus and pin plus 2 is the speaker minus. For those of you who still read manuals, this is all covered in the manual for the DNA 5K4C on page 15 and 16, and the manual is available on our website. Before we look at the rest of the line, I want to call your attention once more to the back of the amp. On the 5K there are no user controls, so if you want to program the DSP or load settings into the amplifier, you will need to connect to your computer via the USB connector here in the center. These other connectors are not what they look like. They're not Ethernet connectors, so don't try to connect the 5K to an Ethernet switch. These connectors are for the optional BVNet to Dante converter box. Please note, when you're using the optional Dante converter box, the audio must be manually patched into the four inputs using XLR cables. There is a separate video that covers the software and the loading of speaker presets but I want to mention here that another difference between the 5K and the other products is the 5K does not store a library of speaker presets. Let's move now to the DNA 10K4 Pro and the DNA 20K4 Pro. The only difference between these two amplifiers is the power rating. The 10K is rated at 2500 watts into 2 ohms per channel and the 20K is rated at 5000 watts into 2 ohms per channel. Everything else is identical. I'm going to be using images of a 20K in this video, but of course everything applies to both amps. In fact, when you take a look at the DNA SC48, it's pretty obvious that we took the SC48 and built it right into the 20K and the 10K. So from the front panel, the user can access the full library of Danley loudspeaker presets, as well as all the features of the processor and the amplifiers. The full operation of the processor and amp is covered in other videos and of course there is a full manual. Looking at the back of the amplifier you can see the four inputs each with a pass-through link, the AES EBU digital input and the four outputs here at the other end. Outputs 1 and 3 are wired in exactly the same way as the outputs of the 5K. 
Note that the 20K has no USB port. Even though it's possible to program the DSP and choose from the library of speaker presets from the front panel, it's a lot easier to use our software called System Engineer on your PC and connect to the 20K via the Ethernet port. If you want to use the 20K in a Dante network, you must order it with the Dante card installed. The primary and secondary Dante ports will appear here. Once again, the software and how to connect to the amplifier is covered in another video. The SC48 is the standalone processor that's fully integrated into the 10K and the 20K. The SC48 has four ins and eight outputs. Now, once again, I'm not going to go into all the specs and features. You can look all that up online. But if you do, I'm sure you will agree that this processor is truly a remarkable piece of engineering. Well, that'll do it for now. Thank you for your interest in Danley DNA products. Until next time, I'm Doug Jones.